Hey everyone, Gree here. Today I want to show you a new app that you can download today that I've created and added to the Microsoft App Source Store. So if you take a look over here, this Microsoft site, if you just look for or Google Microsoft App Source, you will find that there is a list of apps you can download for a lot of different Office products, including Power BI. And as you can see right over here, this Google Analytics report that I built is available in here to download for free. So let's go ahead and just take a look at this a little bit. Now, once you come into here, there's a bunch of resources about what it does, uh, images as well that kind of shows you a preview of all of that, and even some resources over here in case you need to do support or help to know how to install it. So the easiest way is just to go to get it now. And the app does require some basic personal information, just the information that comes from your Microsoft Active Directory profile. That's the only thing that is required to be handed off essentially to get the app for free that you can install. So go ahead and just say that I get permission from Microsoft, hit continue. And that will take me to Power BI apps to complete this. And this just automatically gets added as one of the apps in your Power BI account. And would I like to install this Power BI app? Yep, I will hit install. And there we go, my app is ready. If I go over here and select this, I get an option to explore the sample data. So that is data that is from my website at the moment, but you can also connect your own data. So let's just take a look at it. Just click explore app and we'll get four different pages that we can explore. So each one of these cards here at the top shows you the breakdown of page views, new versus returning site visitors, organic searches, all information related to your site statistics and anything else. Now there's a couple of cool features that I added as well. So you can actually change this number in here, that adjustable uh, number down at the bottom. If I wanted that to be a 30 day rolling average, I can change that, that adjusts my chart. So I'm actually able to change that for the report itself. And there's three other pages besides this one that also have other various statistics related to this site. Including one that breaks down the location of all the viewers that are coming to your site, plus the languages that they speak. And then a really fun one here at the end, which is currently in preview, which is the key influencers visuals that does machine learning analysis on your data. And in this case, I want to see what kind of breakdowns exist for any of the sites that you're bringing into here. Um, and then what is influencing the median site visit duration, which is do they stay for over five minutes, four to five? And then a bunch of fields that I had added in there that breaks it down by country and language. Uh, what the hour of the day is the operating system. So all sorts of fun stuff to be able to play with as well. And of course that slicer pop-up that I have in most of my reports is still available here to let you filter by any range and selection. Now, if you wanna add your own data, you can come up here to this little button and select connect your data. And that's gonna give you a pop-up right here. And it says view ID goes here and there's a detailed instructions link that actually takes you to my site, which will walk you through exactly how to create that. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and navigate to that site. And as you can see, that link takes you to an image that shows you where to get the view ID number. So all you have to do is take that number down here that you see, in this case, the 178 for my specific Google View site. And I just got this after I logged into Google Analytics. And we can take that and go ahead and plug that back into here. And all I have to do is either type or paste that number from my Google Analytics page right here. Go ahead and click next. That will ask you what kind of authentication would you like and privacy level settings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say organizational for my case, hit click sign in, and that will provide a Google Analytics pop-up to ask you what account do you wanna use. I'm gonna select allow and connect to it. And there we go, that will download the data and now you can have that in your analytics report. In my case, the data is not gonna change because it's the same data that was already in there as the test data but now I'm allowed to refresh this. Now this might take some time to download. It's about 35 to 40,000 rows a minute is what Google Analytics can push out with the API. So if you have a, a website with a lot of traffic, it might take 15 to 25 minutes to download the first time. But again, after it's loaded in there initially, you can just go ahead, go to that data set down here, set a scheduled refresh, and then determine whatever interval you want to have this refreshed on. So I have this refreshing three times a day for my website. You can turn this on and refresh it as much as you want as well, but now it's a fully functioning and refreshable report off of your data set. And as I mentioned, this is totally free. All you have to do is give a bit of contact information in exchange for it. So if you have any Google Analytics data that you want to explore, 
take this for a test drive, try it out a bit, have fun with it, use it. As you can see, it's a fully functioning report as it stands. And there's a few things you can customize with it here and there in terms of the visuals. And if you like it as well, please leave a review on the app source section that will help me out a lot. But otherwise that about covers it for this video. If you like this video, please smash that like button down below. And if you have anything you want to say about the video, add that to the comment section, as well as if you have a suggestion for a future video. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos or you want to see more of them, please click that subscribe button. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video.